One of the key roles of entrepreneurship is, is employment, creation of employment. You know, um, yes, we have big industries, big companies, not industries, but the entrepreneurs are very important in society uh, because they generate employment. And employment is what is very critical to generating a market, a market economy, a market. If the entrepreneurship in an economy like Mali, for example, is the future of Mali, is the future of our economy. We started from seven employees. We have just over 400 now. <laughs> 400 employees. We were seven of us at the beginning. Now we have almost 400. Uh, we're occupying a wing of this building. Now we're occupying half of this building, which is a big building. And then we have um, 13 branches across the country. Growing the business from you know, 7 to 400 employees, from one company to four companies, and a holding, and a holding company as well, um, I think the biggest achievement for me is the employment factor. I've created employment for over 400 employees. And when you, when you extrapolate, average size of family, we are about 1,200 to 1,500 being supported by, by this organization. When I went around in Malawi, by the way, with my proposal, I was rejected. <laughs> Press Corporation rejected me. They said, no, you're too small. Moreover, we, we don't go into greenfield operations. Uh, I went to Old Micho, Malawi, just uh, across there, next to Mount Soji Hotel. I was also rejected by the Malawian management. They said, no, 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 too small, we don't do this. I went, to Old, I went to Old Mutual Cape Town, a gentleman I was dealing with there, sent him my proposal, and the same afternoon he sent me an email, sent me an email. no, he gave me a call. I said, this sounds very interesting. I'm coming there in a month's time, can we meet? I, I, it was my only property in my house. I had to risk it, all of it. What can you do? I mean, if you, if you can't take a risk, a calculated risk, you can never, nobody can ever talk to you. Um, because if you, um, you start just drawing money from the business, you're going to eat your capital. And if you eat your capital, then the business will collapse. That's number one. Difference between capital and profit, or drawings or whatever. Number two, you should understand that you cannot be a jack of all trades. You cannot be an expert in everything. So you should be prepared to hire professionals, okay? I know there are some business you can do yourself, but um, there are some businesses where you have to hire the skills. So for example, if you know how to run the business, but you certainly need somebody to do your, your books for you, an accountant or a bookkeeper if it is very small, somebody should do the books for you. Somebody should do your marketing for you. So there are certain basic uh, skills that you need, certainly marketing, certainly um, accounting or bookkeeping. So you should learn to hire professionals and uh, when you have hired professionals, you should also be learn to pay. Yeah. No shortcuts. You do a shortcut, you might polish for a time, but you will not last. Thank <laughs> you.